YouTube. This is Jessie back out at Greenwood Farm and Game Birds. I thought I would come in and do a brief video, well as brief as I can make it, on the difference between visually or auto sexing varieties of Coternix and vent sexing. And I'm also going to show you how to properly vent sex today. We're going to start with their common browns, the Egyptians, pharaohs, whatever you know them as. Let's see which one we get out first. Ah. This is a male. And the way that you know that he is a male is he has got this beautiful rust colored chest and not a bit of spotting on there whatsoever. Now I'm going to hold on to him and I'm going to get down his female. One second, let me get her down. All right, this female, hold on little man, let's set him down while I do this. As you can see, her chest is beautifully speckled and it's a much paler beige color. It's not deep and, it's deep and rusty. So that is how you tell the difference between a male or female brown, common brown, pharaoh, Egyptian, or whatever variety may be known to you guys. <laughs> you can also do this with some of the Italian and Manchurian breeds, but it is almost guaranteed, this is how you, well, it is guaranteed with the common browns. Now, some varieties you are not going to be able to visibly sex, and I'm going to show you an example of that. This is a Texas A&M. And this bird has not a lick of marking on it. I mean, I guess this would probably be more classified as an English white because as you can see on the back of the head, it doesn't have any any markings whatsoever down the back or anything. So how are you gonna tell if this bird is a male or female? I'm gonna show you right now. You're gonna flip your bird over. Now we mark all of our males. So we know right now off the bat, I do at least, that this is a male, but you wouldn't know. So you just hold his little legs down like this you pull the tail back, and do you see this lump right here? Oh, he's already foaming. You're going to see a, a, a lump at the base of the tail. This is actually not semen. It's commonly told that it's semen. It's not. It's actually a kidney discharge that only is produced by males. If you lightly press that bump, you're going to exude that white discharge. This is something you're only going to see in males. Now, I have a different female up here of a different variety, and I'm going to show you the difference between his vent area and her vent area. Now remember, take note, you see that bump right there at the base of the tail? Let me see if I can get that other male down. He hasn't expressed anything down. And then the bump may be a little more visible to you. Come here, handsome. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put his little legs down. We're gonna pull his tail back. And do you see how large that area is right below the vent? I'm actually touching the tail now and it exudes up. And it doesn't take much pressure, you just gently touch, give it a little squeeze, see that white foam? That is absolutely how you tell you've got a boy. Now keep in mind, you see the difference here, how it's bumped up at the bottom of the base of the vent? It's a small bump. I'm going to show you the rear end of a hen, so you can see there's a big visual difference. Okay, here's sweet pink. Now this leg, this bird does not have a band on its leg, so I know for a fact already this is a female, but if you did not, most of the birds of this variety look exactly the same. There's no sexual dimorphism. So what you're going to do, do the same thing. Pin the little legs down. And when you look, oh, she's been bred. I don't know if she's going to be a good one for me to use. One second, let me get the other hen down because she's been bred. I think it's a little confusing. <laughs> All right. So this is our brown female. See the speckling on the chest? Okay, pin your little bird's legs down and make sure you get the, the wings down. It makes it a lot easier. Oops, see when they do that. <laughs> if she had been able to flap, she would have totally got away from me. Now, if you look at her vent, note that there is no bump here at the base of the vent. And do you see how much more elongated and round it is? And when I let go, how much wider the vent slit is? This is a hen that's in lay. Now, when you see a younger bird that you're trying to vent sex, uh, probably four to five weeks is when you can start accurately vent sexing. It's just going to be a thin line there, but it's going to be much more longer and circular. And, of course, no big bump at the bottom here. So, quick review. This particular bird is a female pharaoh. We know this because we can visually sex her by the spotting on the chest. Her counterpart... Come here, handsome can also be visually sexed by that beautiful, broad, brownish, rusty colored chest that is lacking any spotting whatsoever. If you have a variety that you are not able to chest or visibly or auto sex, 
you're going to take a look at the rear. Prime example would be an English white or an A&M. Flip them over. Pull those little legs down. Pull that tail back. And look for that bump right there. And again, if you touch, I might not be able to get in because I've already expressed. No, he's going to help me. You can express the white kidney discharge. If it's not a male, what you're going to see, sorry little lady, what you're going to see, and she has been bred, so excuse me. Oh, we used the brown female, didn't we, because she was bred. Are you the female? No, nope. Come here, you. No, you are the female. What you're going to see visually, hang on, little lady, I know, you don't want to be on your back. I know, hold on. <laughs> Escaped quail. We're in the quail shack, so they can't get out, no worries. Is, again, an oblong slit on the vent area, a lack of bump at the base of the tail, and you're going to see circular, again, this is a laying hen, you're going to see a much more circular vent area, and uh, this is a laying hen, so she's protruding a little, she's actively an egg layer. If she was not actively laying, this would just be a thin slit, and obviously without lacking the bump at the bottom, you would just see the slit and it would be much more flatter, but still have that very circular look. All right, guys. Let me catch our uh, runaway real quick. I'll get her in a second. She's coming out. <laughs> All righty. I hope this has helped you and made vent sexing and visual or auto sexing a little bit easier for you. And again, we look forward to seeing you guys on future videos. If you have any questions or concerns or you have any good info to add to it, feel free to uh, comment. And we'd all, we'd all love it if you'd subscribe. We plan on doing plenty more videos. So I guess until next time, y'all, this is Jessie from Greenwood Farm and Game Birds signing off.